Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to clean your computer to make it look like this. This is a server that I use for my Plex. If you want to learn more about Plex, stay tuned. So, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to clean your CPU fan, try to get all the dust out from your hard drives and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you guys want me to go more in depth from cleaning fans or cleaning your graphics card, which if you don't know what a graphics card is, a graphics card is your... Um, is the little box, this is a little thing over here that I'll show you in the video which is a graphics card, it's a graphics processor and I'll show you how to clean the top of that uh, I do realize there are going to be people who actually understand what that is I'm just generalizing so some of the tools that you'll need today or items to clean it is you're going to need some sort of like PC cleaner, I use this screen cleaner which is perfectly fine if it stays in focus which it won't but you know anything that's alcohol based or anything like that should be perfectly fine. Another thing you want to use is maybe some glass cleaner. If you have a side panel on your computer, which I'll explain what it is. You also need a screwdriver to get some of the basic parts off. It's, you don't really need this. So a lot of the things that you're going to be getting into with more, use your thumbs. Uh, a tool that I got, which is a great tool, it is a little duster which is great to clean camera le camera lenses and uh, little bits and pieces inside it and it's got a brush on it so it's good another thing you'll need is a toothbrush toothbrush, an old toothbrush which is great to clean uh, in between cracks <laughs> and the last thing you'll need is tissue paper or whatever you want to call it, napkins and um, whatever you want to call it, you'll need that to clean it. So, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> was that good? That's good. Yeah. So, this is how my computer's looked after about six months of being left on. As you can see, it's got a bit of dust on the top. And, uh, yeah, this thing's looking a bit gross. So, we're going to make it a little bit more shiny, a little bit more brand new looking. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this little duster thing, a little, it cost me about $3 from uh, a shop in the plaza, and what it is, is it's got, it, you squeeze it down and, and it blows air, just a little bit, just enough to get into the little corner, and what you want to do is you want to use that little brush part to kind of go back and forward in there, kind of move the dust and break the dirt up or whatever's been stuck in there for months or weeks. Spray a little bit of the cleaner in there, you can brush it in there with the cleaner. A little bit of Windex or glass cleaner will do good. And uh, that will just push all the dirt and everything. Then what you want to do is get a bit of dry napkin, squeeze it in that little bit, and it should be perfectly fine. Nice and clean in there, that's what we want. Okay, so now that we cleaned the top, now we're going to use this product again. And we're going to clean the front of it. This is from Dimmies, that's what it was. And you just want to squirt it all in. There's fans and stuff in there. There's little grills, little power buttons, great to clean off. You know, you can even put a bit of that Windex kind of stuff on it to make it, you know, kind of get into the little bits and corners. And you want to make it look a little bit brand new. So I'm going to use more of this uh, paper towel and spray a little bit of the glass cleaner or Windex. Any alcohol based things should do fine. And this would just kind of give it a bit of a brand new look. Clean all the dirt and dust that's been gathering in there. And this will make it look pretty good. And I'm not going to lie, it came out looking really well. Um, the paper towel's great because they're cheap, easy, affordable, and you can use as many as you want. So yeah, that's all you want to do. Okay, so there should be two screws on the back of your computer. You just want to get a screwdriver and take them out, those two screws out. You can use your thumbs for this part. Uh, I'd suggest using a screwdriver just to make it a bit tighter when you put it back in. Alright, so they should just come out like that. And now what we want to do is we just want to put the computer to the side like this because you may have a fan on it like mine. Don't uh, drop this and don't yank at it because there are cables that are holding that fan in and you don't want to rip the cable. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to move it to the side like this. There is a cable here. You just want to unplug it. Uh, I'd suggest using two hands if you can't do it, but one hand should be perfectly fine. And you can put that to the side for now, because once it's unplugged, it's basically out of your way. And there we go. Just put it over there. And so this is the insides of your computer. So make sure your computer is unplugged, and uh, 
disconnected from the power. So there's all the cables and I'm just shining a light in here because it's very dark because it's a black case. I probably should have done this with a white case. But as you can see, the top of that power supply, look at all the dust. There is so much dust caked in there. And that kind of stuff is very, very bad for your computer. It can cause problems down the line. Uh, if it's really dusty to the point, it can actually catch fire. So you want to make sure you get that brush and get all the top layer of that dust off. Um, the power supply is the most important part of your computer. And it's the most dangerous. So just be careful when you're inside your computer, make sure there's no power. And now what you want to do is you want to get a bit of the uh, napkin and go over the top of it just to get rid of all the excess dust that that little cleaner didn't get. And now what you want to do is shove it in the corner, into the corner, get your screwdriver. And what you want to do is you want to put the screwdriver in there, in there like that, and then just drag it along, not too hard because you don't want to scratch anything, just enough to get that dust that was in that corner out and onto the napkin. All right, so now you want to get that toothbrush. The toothbrush is great because you can get on top of the graphics card if you want to clean the top of the graphics card. If it's open like this, if it doesn't have a back plate, you can just go over the top of it. doesn't matter how harsh you are because uh, the bristles of the brush will not break any of the pins off unless you're being absolutely unequivocally way too uh, harsh with it. And you can just clean the sides and kind of dust it a little bit. You gotta get a bit hard in there with the tissue. And you know, you can use that dust star to get rid of the excess dust on top of it. It's coming along pretty well, it looks pretty shiny, nice and clean. That's what we want. And you can get into the fan a little bit, blow it in the fans, and yeah. So that's it for this part. Now I'm gonna show you how to clean the CPU and get rid of all the old thermal grease on it. So what you want to do is you want to grab your computer and you want to lay it down flat. Make sure you don't do your back or hurt yourself. You know, just put it on the flat on on a, on a table or whatever you want to put on. You can do it on the floor if you want. Put it flat down like that. Make sure there's nothing underneath it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and poke his attention onto this fan. This fan is the CPU fan. This is an AMD-based one. Uh, Intel's different. If you want me to show you a video on how to change that, I can. So what you want to do is you want to flick this little blue switch. And it should just be easy to flick it with your finger. And it should just go to the side. And now be careful where you take it off because there is a cable that is connected to the motherboard, which is down there. And you just want to use your fingers, your thumbs, whatever you want to use, you can take it out. Just be careful not to rip it off the motherboard. And uh, yeah, here you go. You've got your CPU fan taken off. And as you can see, it's got a lot of old thermal grease on there. Now, you never want to reuse thermal grease. The reason why is it, cause the reason why is it gets dry and it can also get very wet. Uh, so you want to use some uh, screen cleaner or alcohol cleaner, which is what I'm using here. And uh, you don't want to make sure your CPU is laid flat and you don't want to be too harsh. Now spray a little bit on there. Uh, you want to spray a little bit on the, on the paper towel and kind of go home on it. Not too harsh because you don't want to break any of the thins. Now don't worry about any of it kind of going off into the... the um, the uh, fins, the grease going into the fins, it doesn't really matter, uh, but you don't want to get a lot of it on there. Uh, just kind of give it a spot clean. Now what you can do is you can use a toothbrush. You can use the toothbrush to kind of get in between the fins where you can't get to, where there's a little bit of dust in there. Kind of go a little bit like this. That's all you want to do. Uh, you can use compressed air in here, you can kind of squirt it in, but I'm just showing you with basic uh, household items that you might have to clean it. You know, just kind of get a lot of a bit of the dust out, you know, and give it a bit of a clean. I can show you how to clean the top part of the fan, uh, but that will be in another video on how to clean fans properly. This is just a general spot clean. There you go, nice and clean. All right, so your CPU fan is done. Now, the second part you want to do is you want to pay attention over here to the CPU. What you want to do is you want to get that, that cloth, the tape paper towel, napkin, tissue paper, doesn't matter what it is. You want to make sure it's dry, this part dry, and just slowly, gently squeeze that thermal grease off, just like so. It's always good to replace it, keeps your computer nice and cool. 
There we go, nice and clean. Now, the way you can just go over a little bit with a um, little bit of the spray on there, a little bit of alcohol on there, just to make it a bit cleaner. Now, what you want to do is you can use that tool again, and now you can get into a bit of the motherboard and kind of get in between all the conductors and everything, and uh, get right into it, transistors, and whichever you want to call it, and get in there, give it a good clean up the top. Where it's no, you know, you want to get as much as the dust out as possible. Just like so, give it a bit of a general clean. Okay, so now that you've um, gone ahead and cleaned the CPU, you're going to need some thermal grease. Uh, this stuff you can pick up at a local computer shop, or you can buy online for like barely anything, like 10 bucks. Uh, I'm using some uh, Cooler Master stuff here. It doesn't really matter what you use. Uh, don't put too much. About the size of an uncooked grain of rice or a pea on top of the CPU, like so. Uh, this stuff was a bit old, so um, a little bit more came out than uh, what I'm used to. <laughs> so yeah, now that it's on the CPU, you want to go and grab that CPU fan. And uh, there's only one way it can go in. So you want to put it in the way that it came out. Now, this part is a bit tricky to film. But if you can see it, you want to. The first thing you want to do is you want to plug it in to the motherboard, like so. Plug it into the CPU fan labeled on the motherboard. Yeah, there there it's in. Now what you want to do is you want to have it placing it face down. Make sure the cable's not underneath, and you want to place it just on top of the CPU, like so. And you want to try and reclip that uh, clip back onto the CPU. Now this part's not easy. Now what you want to do is kind of jiggle it a little bit just to get that kind of get the uh, thermal grease moving a little bit over. It's always good. And now what you want to do is you want to um, you know flick the switch, flick it over, make sure it's underneath that plastic bit, and there we go. Okay, so now we can flip it back up, so pick, flip it back upright, and now we're going to reattach the side panel. I'm just going to put a bit of a light here because it's a bit dark since it's a black computer, and as you can see, it's looking really nice. Okay, so what we want to what we want to do is we're going to put that side panel back on, but remember you've got to reattach that fan if you've got it on your side panel. Uh, like you can see here, I'm just going to reattach the cable to the power supply. Your computer should be looking pretty new, a little bit cleaner, and it should run better. Uh, sometimes they can be a bit of a pain uh, to put them back in. Make sure you put them in the right spot. Nah, uh, this isn't big of a deal. If it doesn't turn on, you can just reopen the computer and uh, reattach those cables if you haven't done it right. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to reattach it. You just want to slide it in. Some of them are clips, some of them are slides, some of them are buttons. But this instance, we're just going to slide it back in, just like so. Uh, you'll know when it fits in correctly. Um, just push it in a little bit. Sometimes it can be a bit of a pain. So we're going to flip it to the front again. And we're going to screw in those screws that we had in the back. And then we're all done. That's it. Um, so put those screws back in. Yep, with the screwdriver. There we go. All right, so we've cleaned our computer. What we're going to do, the last step, this is optional, but I like to do this, is, you know, just give the rest of the computer a bit of a clean down. You know, the, the, the side panels, the back panels, you know, go a little bit extra just to make it look cleaner and go all the way over it and redo the top. But that's it, guys. Computer's nice and clean. See you next time. <laughs>